Well, hello everyone. Welcome to Debbie Top Brawl. And um, gosh, what do I have to say? It's been a while. Okay, you know what? I'm, I'm just going to start skipping that because it's always been a while. I'm just not a very good blogger, vlog blogger, video blogger. For instance, I can't quite get that down either. But so anyways, all right, so let me uh, just jump right into it. Um, <clears throat> I turned 30 this week. I turned 30 on Wednesday, and it was a very traumatic experience. No, it actually wasn't. Uh, 29 was traumatic. 30 was... I made it to 30. That's kind of how I'm looking at it, and it, uh, it helps out a lot. Um, <clears throat> what does not help out is that, uh, well, well, first of all, I should say that um, even though I turned 30 um, on Wednesday, it's the day after St. Patty's Day um, every year. So what I do is I just always have a party on St. Patty's Day. And at midnight, it's my birthday, and, you know, meanwhile, I have, like, a lot of people around me celebrating. <clears throat> but, uh, you know, I pretend they're celebrating me, you know, so... I had a party this year, um, St. Pat's slash St. Z's 30th, and uh, I had it on the Saturday beforehand, which is, you know, I figured you can't have it after um, St. Pat's because everyone, no one's going to want to drink. And uh, having it on a Tuesday, it was a Tuesday, St. Pat's was a Tuesday this year, so I said, you know, F that. And um, so anyway, I had it on Saturday. But of course, I've been healthy. <clears throat> I have been like cold, flu, ailment free for. Um, for just like months and months and months, and there are two enormous bugs on my wall. God, those are like those ones with the giant legs. They're like mosquito spiders. It's like the scariest thing I could ever think to say. Like mosquito spiders. Those are like combining. Like maybe if you made them mosquito spider eels, it would be scarier. Um, with horns. But anyway, so <clears throat> where was I? Uh, I've been like I've been healthy for months and months and months, and then. I choose to get a cold the week before my birthday party. And I'm inviting, there are 200 people invited to this party, and no one's, not everyone's going to come, of course, you know, but you have to invite every single person you know to make sure there's a turnout. And um, I'll explain why in a second. So I freaking get, all right, and I don't just get, like, a cold. I don't just get sick. I get, like, the annoying cold. It's not even, you know, oh, I'm so sick, I can't move. You know, it's like, I can move, I'm, like, okay. I just kind of, kind of have a headache. And I just, my muscles are just sort of sore. And um, I have to <clears throat> do that every effing five minutes. And, like, I'm sure the people I work with are just absolutely sick of me. So, um, <clears throat> uh, anyway, so I get that stupid thing. And I think I almost have it whipped. And I feel really good on the, on the, on the day of the party. And so, anyway, so we're having this giant party at my house. And um, uh, I invite everyone I can think of. And... Uh, 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 some of my friends invite all their friends, and, and um, I got a band. So I, uh, I was looking around. I wanted, like, to make this kind of like a, you know, St. Pat sort of style, like Savannah style, like where I used to live in Georgia. And, uh, you know, so I think, like, you know, bluegrass is another one of those bugs. God damn it, scary. Um, so I got this bluegrass band that I, um, that I know, that my friend uh, is slash used to be in. And, and they're fantastic. I'm going to put their link over here. They're called Rose's Pawn Shop, and they're amazing. I've seen them here in L.A., and I've seen them in Nashville. Um, uh, in Nashville, I saw them in uh, the basement underneath Grimey's Music Store. I don't know if you guys are familiar with that, if you're from, if you're from Nashville. And uh, um, awesome show. Really good band, and um, not terribly expensive, but I really wanted people to turn out. And so uh, my one of my best friends... Um, cooked, uh, he came over like at 10 a.m., like I was, we were just waking up over here, and he came over at 10 a.m., and him and his, his wife cooked um, uh, a slow-cooked pulled pork uh, barbecue, and uh, I went and got all my fixings for low country boil, and so I made this, um, uh, you know, shrimp and, you know, sausage and potatoes and all that kind of stuff, um, you know, and I made two sets of that, and just like, you know, we had the fire pit going while the band was playing in the yard, and, um, they were so loud. I sort of thought bluegrass, it'll be like acoustic or whatever. They brought like a million speakers. It was, um, it was a little like, a little daunting. They're like, do you have any like wood blocks or crates that we can set up, you know, these front speakers on, you know, for the right amount of like reflection or whatever it is that, that they're saying? And I was like, um, yeah, okay. And I found some like crates. I'm like, wait, this is going to be, oh God, this is going to be crazy. And like, it was so loud. Like, um, but you know what's cool is, all right, well, first of all, I got, this is like a million first of alls. I'm like interrupting myself the entire thing here. Um, I got so wasted, like, 
by the first set. Like, um, I'd already been drinking, like, all day with my friends, and, like, not even anyone, at, like, like 30 people showed up so far, and I'm already blitzed, and I'm doing, like, car Irish car bombs, you know, with, like, everybody that shows up, and with the band, and, like, <clears throat> I think I had, like, two Bloody Marys, like, a sweet tea vodka, five Irish car bombs, like, a couple of Guinnesses, like, I mean, <clears throat> I'm heavy, you know, like, you know, like, I'm kind of big, you know, like, 100... 60 pounds or whatever, but, like, that's a lot of drinks. That is a lot of liquor. And I was wasted. But apparently people are all telling me that I was, like, you know, a decent drunk. I was, like, a, a social social drunk. Um, suffice to say, I had a blast as much as I can remember. And other people said that they had, they had fun, too. But, um, so check this out. My 30th birthday, the last birthday of my 20s, because I was still in my 20s on my 30th birth, on my in my party, I had the cops come and shut us down. Yeah. Well, they didn't really shut us down. They just told us to stop playing. But the band already played two of the three sets they were going to play, and it was already like, you know, like 10 or something like that. And we're like, that's it. We'll shut it down. We had a good run, you know. They played some awesome songs. And um, <clears throat> uh, so I guess we basically just, you know, got down to the, 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 the real deal and just, you know, started really drinking. Um, it sounds so stupid. Like, I'm sure the cops showed up and was like, you know, like, what is this, some 20-year-old, 20, 20 21-year-old's birthday party or something like that. But no, it was my 30th. F, yeah, you know. Um, but he was really cool. And uh, I people brought me gifts, and it was so sweet. I really didn't expect it. I never tell people it's my birthday when I have a party. I always say it's a St. Patty's party. And then, like, when people, you know, say, why do you have a St. Patty's party? I'm like, oh, yeah, it's my birthday as well. And so I got all these, like, amazing, great gifts, like, from, from people. The band gave me uh, this wicked wife beater of, like, See the Roses Pawn Shop. And um, <clears throat> my friend Angelina got me all this, like, cool stuff from, like, um, Japanese and Korean stuff. This bag is, like, adorable. It has little bears on it that are just up to no good. One is juggling an apple. Oh, there's a bird. Oh, it's a bird and a bear. It's adorable. <clears throat> and, like, you know, like, Pocky and all this kind of, like, goofy stuff and whatever. Sundobu. Um... I got a bunch of flowers that were really pretty. I have one in my hair. My friend Aaron got me, like, a little bundle of green flowers for St. Pat's. Christy got me a sandwich press. It's all I ever really wanted. And I put off buying it because I knew that she was going to ask me what I wanted for my birthday. And I was like, well, I want a sandwich press. But, you know, <clears throat> no pressure. And she got me a sandwich press. Awesome. I, um, <clears throat> I, I used it today. I made turkey Rubens for, for my friends and I. And it's everything. You know what? Happiness is a warm sandwich, I think is going to be my new expression. I'm going to put that on my coat of arms if I had one of those. Maybe my tombstone. Tomb, tomb, tombstone. Tomb, tombstone. Um, let's see, what else? Okay, so birthday, party, 30, 30, 30 gifts. Sick. Um, God, oh, and the last thing I hope you noticed... Um, I finally put audio to my to my intro. So, um, yeah, I just, you know, I bit the bullet tonight and uh, found some... What the hell? What, what music am I even using? Is it like Bach or Beethoven or something and something like that? And I found... I dug through my, my sound effects library and <clears throat> finally finished that. So I'm just happy that that's behind me. That's been, like, something I've been talking about for nigh on over a year so far. Um, so, uh... Suck it, you non-believers. Think that I'm... Okay, I'm just talking about myself right now. I, I procrastinate, and I'm not going to procrastinate eating this Pocky. Watch. Right on time. I said I was going to do it, and I did it. Watch. Yeah, it's, like, delicious. Is it, like, pretzel? Or is it, like, just, like, bread? I don't know. It's really good. But this is just, like, the old days. This is, like, a ten-minute vlog here. So, um, oh, I better cut it off if I have room for my intro. And that's funny, I talked about my intro, but I haven't put it in yet. That is, like, the magic of filmmaking. So, there it is. And, uh, this might be my first vlog without a dog. Alright, I'll catch you around. Peace!